In 73, Claude Howell had his uh, retrospective at St. John's Museum, and in that retrospective, Back Porch was on display and for sale by the artist. And so we fell in love with the painting and we decided to buy it. I made the decision that I would like it to give the painting to the museum so it could be there, have a permanent home. And um, so that's how that all happened. Uh, moving downtown, we made friends with a lot of people, including Jack and Vivian Sparks, who lived on Front Street. And they were very good friends, close friends with Claude. Practically every summer, Claude would travel with them to France for part of their summer. They both, Claude and Jack Sparks, were professors at UNCW, so they had the summer together to go off. And, and Jack was the head of the French department, and he was fluent in French. So naturally, that was a nice way to spend his summer. So that's how I met Claude, through Jack and Vivian. And so I was a frequent visitor at his apartment on Market and Fifth. And um, we had a friendship through, throughout the rest of the time until Claude died. Uh, he was very generous in his gifts to us and with his friendship towards us. And um, we very much valued our friendship with him. Back porch, he painted in Paris in 1950. He showed it quite a lot. There's um, a list of, he gave to us when we bought the painting, a list of all of the exhibits where it had been on display during that period from 50 to the present time of 73. Right. Um, and fortunately for us, it had not sold <laughs> until we saw it. So, so I started another large canvas today, which is the same size as the card players. Feeling that this last canvas is a little spotty, I am determined to center one's interest in the new one. I am also limiting my color range to grays, magenta, oranges, and blue-greens. The idea finally developed into a woman hanging a quilt on a back porch and a man sitting relaxing beside her on the steps. That was April 19, 1950 in Paris. And then on Wednesday, May 3rd, 1950, he wrote the following. This new painting is teaching me a number of things. I'm trying hard to center the interest without leaving holes in the canvas and to use less color, but to make it count for more where it is used. If I can only get rid of Bob's influence. That's the preferred reference to Bob Guathme. Um, however, his direction and mine are fairly similar at this point. I dare not make any drastic change to my work, for I am sure that I am working towards the right end. Each canvas is a little more mine. Today was a good day and good painting. I suddenly knew why I had to go back to the South. I must look at and sketch this summer. I need to check on so many things. For the first time, I will know what to look for. Claude comes right to my mind. Uh, I mean, it's almost as if he's here, still with us. Uh, and it's a wonderful gift for the museum to have this. Uh, but Claude, of course, saved everything preserved everything and passed it on so that uh, he lives in our memory. And but those of us who knew him someday won't be around, but his work will still be around. And uh, this particular painting, I'm pleased to say, will be hanging at the Cameron Art Museum. <laughs>